So I've been wearing these Nike Pegasus 35 turbos with Zoom X and React for a month now. And I wanted to let you guys know, are they worth the hype? And is it worth your money? And let's go ahead and get into the video. What is going on guys, Hass here, collectivekicks.com. If you guys wanna shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the link in the description and happy shopping. As I mentioned, I wanted to give you guys a follow up on this shoe right here and let you guys know my final thoughts. This is one of those shoes that actually for the entire month, I was so excited to actually put on my feet and wear because it was such an amazing experience for myself. This might be one of my favorite Nikes on feet of all time. There are a ton of things I really love about this shoe. There's definitely a couple of things that I don't like but I wanted to share my honest truth with you guys. And if you guys like that, I do this with you uh, and risk the brand deals that I don't have. Leave a thumbs up on the video if you guys appreciate it. But I did want to clean these up from the very beginning of the video. I actually ended up stepping in mud on this pair right here. And I was DJing a wedding. And yes, I wear comfortable shoes when I DJ weddings and I'm standing for 11 hours straight to answer that. And usually it was ultra boost, but I wanted to go ahead and give these a go. I've been actually, I've worn these a couple different weddings actually, but the last one was so muddy uh, that I actually stepped and it slipped in the mud a little bit and it got all over the side wall of the shoe. So I was really kind of concerned because of this double mesh upper that I wouldn't be able to actually wash it out. And as you can see from the final results from Rejuvenator, I was able to actually get these pretty dang clean. So this is actually pretty amazing. I was super excited that I was able to get these as clean as I did because they looked super mega beat up. So comparing them to the other pair, I mean, the other one is super dingy looking. The toe box looks like there's a lot of dust trapped underneath the double mesh. The midsole is also really dirty. I don't know if you can tell the difference in this video, but like this is super, super dirty comparison to the way that it cleaned up. Also the collar around the shoe got really dirty as you could see here. And another thing that I don't even wanna show you, but look how dirty the insole is. And yes, I wore these barefoot a couple times as well, just to give it a go and see how comfortable they are with or without shoes. But look at the difference when I clean these things up with the rejuvenator, super crazy. It's pretty much like new on this one right here. I do like the fact that this stuff does stick on the bottom of the shoe, it's not peeling off, which is awesome. But, uh, but look at the footprint literally on the bottom of this shoe. So major difference there. Also, you can see the difference on the soles of the shoe. Definitely much, much cleaner when I clean these up with Rejuvenator. So I wanted to let you guys know I'm gonna do a giveaway. Basically, I'm gonna give away a laundry system kit as well as a travel kit to you guys in this video. All you have to do is leave a thumbs up on this video, leave a comment in the video, any comment you would like, and then also use the hashtag Rejuvenator X has kicks. That's it, and then I will basically do a search after a week and pick two winners for the uh, two systems. This laundry system though is the truth and it's definitely the most original product on the market when it comes to cleaning sneakers. Part of the reason why this system is so amazing, first of all, it comes with a brush and rejuvenator sneaker cleaner, which is a great first pass on the shoe. You can go ahead and scrub down the shoe with the brush and the soap and then give you kind of a baseline cleaning of the shoe. But if you want a deeper clean and to get all of that dirt out of the inside of the shoe, it's definitely one step above the competition because it comes with two shoe trees as well as a sneaker laundry bag. And that's pretty much it. You throw them in the wash in the bag and then it cleans them up just right. So I'll give you guys a quick little overview on the shoe before we get into the pros and cons. First things first is the upper is very interesting. It does have a double mesh upper. This is like a really interesting fine like fish line sort of mesh upper. And then underneath it, as you can see, there's actually regular mesh. And so I wanted to loosen the laces to show you that actually you can probably remove this top layer and just have regular mesh, as you could see down here. So it's really an odd combination to have both. It makes it so it's actually a little bit more constricting because this is not a very stretchable material, but it's also very, very hard to keep clean. As I already showed you in this pair here, they got really dirty underneath this mesh because the dirt just seeps right underneath. You do have the fly wire that actually loops up to the top of the shoe, but I wanted to show you, if you take the laces out, like this fly wire just flops all around inside the shoe. So you really have to take it and make sure that when you relace them, that you push it back through the hole here and then loop it like so. So the lacing process can be a little bit more time consuming on this because of the loose fly wire, but it does add some functionality because when you do tighten the laces, if you tighten the laces, it adds a little extra lockdown to the shoe. You do have a painted on Nike swoosh on the outside here and you can see it's painted on the midsole as well. It's kind of sloppily as I mentioned in the previous video. And then you have a hyperfuse Nike swoosh on the inside of the shoe. 
Speaking of Hyperfuse type material, you have the Hyperfuse racing stripe down the middle of the shoe, which honestly I have to say is one of the things that um, people definitely love about the shoe and people definitely hate. I had nothing but overwhelming positive comments about these shoes. Whenever I wore these, a lot of people were like, whoa, those are cool. Like they saw this entire racing stripe and they thought this was a really dope um, design. Also, I like it matched with the mint upper. I just, something about the shoe really, really worked for me. So I love this colorway. The other thing is you can see that the racing stripe comes down the front and it wraps around to the bottom. So it's kind of nice they have that exaggerated theme of that racing stripe all the way through the middle of the shoe. You have just kind of an average mesh liner on the upper, not anything fantastic, but nothing bad. You have the size tag on the other side of the tongue, which these definitely fit true to size in my opinion. They don't have a lot of flexibility. As I mentioned, they're not stretchable. So wider feet like myself, they fit pretty snug true to size, but honestly it was like, it just felt right. You can see it's an attached detached tongue. So it's attached all the way up to here and then it pops out right here. So it has the aesthetic effect of a tongue, but the lockdown feel of an attached tongue, which makes this a really great shoe for me to be able to just grab and slide on my foot. I don't have to do any crazy adjustments. I just got to put it on. Moving your way to the back of these shoe, you can see there's a couple different points. It points up on the heel part as well as out on the back of the midsole. You do have some reinforcement in this cage section here and then some hyperfuse here and then a little toothpick of reflective material on the back. The biggest draw to this shoe though is not the weird upper, it is definitely the midsole and the combination between Zoom X and React. Now, in my original, original review of this shoe, I didn't mention the React because I honestly didn't know that it was there. And for me personally, it was a little bit frustrating because I went to Nike's site and there's nothing that says anything about React. It's actually quite misleading because a lot of the pictures show you the Zoom X, including on the shoe. It literally says Zoom X on the React part of the shoe. So logistically, I understand why they put it down here, but logically, it makes no sense to have the Zoom X branding on React. It's false advertising to me, and it's kind of one of my problems with the shoe because I really feel like they could have done a better job of marketing it correctly. Now, I will say if you look on the box, it doesn't say it's the Zoom X Pegasus or Zoom X Pegasus 35 Turbos. It literally says Nike Zoom Pegasus 35 Turbo. It doesn't say anything about the Zoom X. So again, is it misleading because it says Zoom and it doesn't even have Zoom in it, it has Zoom X and React. I, I don't really know what to say about that. All they have to do is fix the website and I think that it would be a big plus. Ultimately, it doesn't sway my opinion on the shoe though because I actually understand why they use React and the Zoom X on the same exact shoe because I have full length React shoes and I have full length Zoom X shoes and this is definitely the best of both worlds. You get more stability in this one than on the 4% because of the React. There's more longevity to it as well because of the uh, React material. And honestly, I have to say after wearing these a month, these really held up quite well. I thought they were gonna be terrible like the 4%. The 4% got just destroyed on the bottoms, but this is actually really good. There's just a couple little wear spots on the shoe. And I wore these skateboarding even, and I basically was following my kid around to basically follow him around in his red truck. And, uh, and so, I mean, I really thrashed these things and they held up amazingly. This extra lining around the shoe, the piping around is super nice, but I was really surprised how well this stood up. If this was regular Zoom X, it would have been destroyed. So I think that this is a great evolution of Nike products, more comfortable than regular React because it has the Zoom X. It's noticeably more squishy on your feet than the React is. Like out of all of my Nikes that I've had in my lifetime, like this is probably the most comfortable out of all of them. And I know those people are in the comment section right now going, it's not a casual shoe, it's, it's a performance shoe. At the end of the day, Jordans were performance shoes when they originally came out as well. And retro runners were performance shoes back in the day also. This is gonna be like a futuristic retro runner, I think. Like this is an amazing lifestyle shoe. And if I had to go to Disney World all over again, these would be my go-to for sure. Like it's just such a great, comfortable pair of sneakers. So to discuss more of the pros and cons, just really quickly, I wanted to go over them. This is again, the best overall feeling on my feet from any Nike model to date. The closest competitor in my opinion is the Adidas Ultra Boost. And I already did a comparison video between these and the Ultra Boost if you guys want to see the full breakdown of that video. But, um, but these things are absolutely amazing on feet, at least for myself. And the majority of the reason why these are my favorite is because of the cushioning on this shoe. It is absolutely one of the best on any Nike that I've ever tried. Again, I personally like the racing stripe down the middle. I think it's a pro. I think that it looks really cool and I love the fact that it added on the bottom. The overall style of this shoe looks really fresh to me. I think it looks fast. It's stylish, it's sleek, 
and um, I love the overall aesthetics of the shoe. As I mentioned, these are easy on, easy off, and that might not mean a lot to some of you guys out there, but for somebody like me on the go, so when I'm looking down at a lineup of sneakers and which ones to put on quickly, these ones are a no-brainer for me. I like the aesthetic value of the attached, detached tongue. I think it makes it definitely more stylish looking, and I'm definitely over the sock-like fit and look of those type of sneakers, so I like the bulky tongue. I think it looks good. Also, the overall weight of the shoe is amazingly nice. It's 8.4 ounces for a men's size 10. So a couple of the cons that I didn't really love about the shoe, definitely the Zoom X branding on the React. At the end of the day, I think it's misleading to the consumers and they should brand it appropriately. The other con, in my opinion, is this double mesh upper. I think it's cool kind of like to have something different, but this is not something that's going to last, I don't think, in Nike's lineups. It doesn't make a lot of sense to have this see-through mesh over top of the other mesh because it just traps mass amounts of dirt in between the shoe. And although you can clean up your shoe with sneaker cleaners and stuff out there, it's just more labor intensive than it should be to be able to clean your shoe. As I already mentioned, there is no real flex in this upper, so it's definitely more snug than the normal fly nets and prime nets that are on the market. It doesn't really bother my feet too much, but honestly, it's just worth noting. Another con is the potential lack of traction in the rain and stuff. It might be a little bit more slippery, but overall, I was actually pretty impressed with the longevity of the soles. Another con that a lot of people don't really love is the fact that the midsole wrinkles so much. I personally don't mind the wrinkles, Maybe it's because I'm getting old, I don't really know. But uh, but the wrinkles don't bother me, but a lot of people don't love the look of that. And just so you guys know, they come wrinkled straight out of the box. Final con, if you had to throw it out there, is the price point of 180 on this shoe, which is the same price as the Adidas Ultra Boost, but 180 is a pretty chunk of change. However, I will say that this is hands down worth buying at $180. It's totally worth it in my opinion but it's hard for people to throw out their initial money to even give it a try. So hopefully you guys turn to videos like this and get a review of them to really understand whether or not consumers are enjoying them or not. And personally for me, it's just an amazing shoe. So to give you guys just some final metrics on the shoe, basically I would say true to size or half size up. Cushioning is a five out of five. Responsiveness is still a four out of five to me, although it could be a five out of five to runners. The upper material is very thin and tight and I originally gave it a four, but I would give it a three after wearing these more just because of the added issues of the dirt. The weight was 8.4 ounces, which is a five out of five in my opinion. The breathability of four out of five. The durability and stability, I would bump up to a three and a half out of five each. After wearing these a longer period of time, they do feel better on feet. Traction, I would still say is a four out of five style and value would both be a five out of five. So my final thoughts on the ZoomX Pegasus 35 Turbo, one of my favorite Nikes I've ever tried on. Extremely comfortable. I enjoyed wearing these every single day for a month. And I definitely recommend these for casual wear as well as for performance if you guys are into that sort of thing. The durability of the shoe is definitely much better than expected. So the longevity of the shoe is also better than expected. So far this year, this actually might be my favorite new model. I like this better than the Element React 87. I think that this is hands down um, one of the best innovations that Nike's created in a long time. And it's really crazy to say that because I feel like Nike's innovated at least five or six pairs of shoes that I love this year, but this one takes the cake in my opinion. So that's my final thoughts. Leave a comment in the comment section. What did I get right? What did I get wrong about the shoe? What did I miss? And again, to enter the giveaway for the travel kit and my favorite, the Rejuvenator Sneaker Laundry System, go ahead and leave a comment, any other comment you want, but also include the hashtag Rejuvenator X Hess Kicks. I will put the instructions in the description to make it easier. Also give the video a thumbs up. If you do just want to shop at rejuvenator.com, use my code, it's always in the description. It's Hess Kicks 10 and you can save yourself 10% off your entire order. That is the video though. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching. We'll catch you guys for some new videos soon and uh, have a good rest of the day. Peace guys.